a day-to-day -day life in the geek. Check out this video to learn more. Hey everyone, this is Zach with PC Simplest, and today I had an email question uh, submitted to me, and I'm going to kind of go over that really quick with you, and then we're going to answer what the question was, and that's basically a day-to-day -day in the life of a geek, in my own words. Anyway, so here's what this person said. Uh, basically, they said, hi, my name is blank, I'd, I'll leave that out. But uh, they say, currently I'm a freshman at the University of Cincinnati, and I am studying computer engineering. I knew coming into this major that, I was ex that it was exactly what I wanted to do. And today, when I saw your video on things to know before getting into IT, great video, check it out. Um, I was inspired. You see, I have been trying to figure out what exactly it is that I want to do, and information technology has always been one of the options that I've kept in mind, but I wasn't sure what it entailed until watching your video. Awesome. Uh, ever since I can remember, technology has been a huge part of my life and I have worked with it in depth for the past six to seven years. I worked in a store repairing computers and video game consoles for years, and then it turned into me building my own computer and building multiple more for family and friends. Uh, I absolutely love researching and learning more about computer technology. I get a lot of experience in, or I got a lot of experience in customer service working in the electronic shop, but I've also been working in food service for the past two years, and I consider myself to be to be very personable. That's always a great thing. We talked about that. Uh, I guess what all the all, what all of this cul cul uh, culminates to is that I really think that I want to go into the field of informa information technology. But I'd like to hear more about what you actually do day to day and what kind of things I could do with my knowledge. I look forward to your reply. Here's my reply. And we'll start from the last thing that you asked and uh, go to the first thing. But definitely thanks for watching that video. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. Post a link to it. Uh, basically gives you a rough rundown of uh, what you need to know before getting into IT. Um, it's a very long video. I apologize for that. I'll try to break it down, which I already have in another video. Uh, anyway, basically I'll start. Uh, what kind of things can you do with your knowledge? Give me more information on the knowledge that you have, and I can definitely help you uh, get some kind of rundown on what you can actually do. You've built computers. You've worked in a store. What did you do in the store? Uh, hopefully you answer that one and we'll I'll try to you know reply back to you at least and uh, tell you what I think you could do based on your knowledge uh, but um, day to day and we'll you know we'll, we'll take that my day to day and what I actually do so I work in a hospital as um, an information technology specialist basically uh, the, the title of my job is information systems technician so that's kind of, um, you know, uh, we have like help desk, which is like below me. And then we have me and then, uh, we're supposed to have like a senior technician, a senior information systems technician, but we don't have one right now. And hopefully I'll be, uh, going for that job here one day. Uh, but then we have like our system administrators, you know, network administrators and then director, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, we have a fairly small team. Uh, the size of the hospital is fairly small. But I think in general we have about, um, we did the math, we have about 800 devices, uh, desktops, laptops, and then we have, oh gosh, in that, in that field also is uh, the, the WISE terminals and stuff like that, servers. We have, I don't know, maybe, this is going to be a rough estimate because I'd really have to look at it. And I should know, but I don't really uh, pay attention to the numbers too often. But I know we have 170 servers, so I think I want to say that there's maybe 50 tops that are all physical. The rest are virtual servers, virtual machines, you know, running server, blah, 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 whatever. So in our environment, we have server 2003 and we have 2008 R2. And like I said, most of them are virtual and a few physical. Uh, we run Exchange and we run obviously a medical record type of thing and I won't tell you what it is I won't get in detail about that but it's you know a very big um, EMR basically electronic 
medical records type of uh, application. So uh, that I dive into a little bit, but I won't go strictly into that. Basically, I'll give you a quick rundown of my day to day. So day to day, get into work and I'm already checking emails. I'm checking voicemails if they're there and I'm basically getting back to people. So the, and then I'm answering phones a lot of the day. So typical things are forgotten passwords. Um, screens are locking up. So, you know, their internet exploder locked up. Then, you know, we'll basically remote in and do a lot of work that way. There's also, I do like a lot of imaging. So we image computers, you know, we get new ones in, we get broken ones, whatever. We tend to re-image them fairly often. So that's always like on our day-to-day -day thing, you know, new laptops come in, we have to image those, get those out to users, stuff like that. Um, you know, setting up VPN accounts, um, troubleshooting your Outlook issues, troubleshooting your Word issues, your Excel issues, stuff like that. That plays a huge role in the day-to-day -day of what goes on. And then there's, you know, um, let's see, once a month we do our server update night. So we all come in, we start updating the servers with the latest Windows updates and rebooting them and all that stuff. But that's only once a month, obviously. So... More on the day to day, uh, every day is different. One day can be busier than the other. Maybe there's projects we're working on where we're moving multiple computers from one location to another, putting in brand new computer places, uh, doing different things with the WISE terminals. Uh, lately I'm getting into PowerShell, so I'm trying to learn PowerShell tools to speed up my work process because I am in charge of creating all the new Active Directory accounts and email accounts for our environment. So that falls on me and I take care of that. And then I take care of some of the, um, the electronic side with the medical stuff. So that's more of what I'm doing day to day. Um, then if there's like any projects that I have to get involved in, I'll obviously jump, jump over there, help out our system administrators if they need it for whatever reason. Um, I do, I try to get involved in a lot of the new images that get put into our environment. So a new computer comes in, I'll use our imaging tool, which is basically MDT, Microsoft Deployment Toolkit. That's a great thing to learn. Uh, if you don't really know that, you could start out learning that and then go to like SCCM, which is another Microsoft tool, which is amazing. And I wish we had SCCM, but for now we have MDT and Microsoft Deployment Toolkit is great. It's a great thing to learn. It's a great thing to get into environments and try to push that for all of your imaging. Definitely look into that if you don't know anything about it. Um, Active Directory is a huge thing that you definitely need to learn. Group policy is another thing. I do you know, a lot of the printer stuff with group policy where I'm maybe adding a specific printer to a specific user or maybe I'm adding a new printer to an entire department. Um, there's, we have like Dymo label makers that we have to frequently fix, troubleshoot, replace, put in new stuff. So we do, we're doing a lot of like DNS entries and the DHCP entries that go along with that. Um, there's that, like I said, answering phones, emails, tickets. We have a ticketing system. So new user or any type of user can put in a ticket for some kind of thing that they want done. And, you know, of course that varies. Like I said, the password changes. Um, installing specific software, maybe um, there's a specific you know website that's not working and a lot of times that's because Windows XP is still haunting us. But anyway, uh, aside from that, um, you know we're trying to move a lot of our XP machines to Windows 7 and uh, trying to get some of our servers upgraded. So um, like I said, there's, there's a lot of different things that really come into play on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's really hard to answer that because every day is different, but that was like the basic rundown of what happens on a day-to-day -day basis working in IT specifically with me. And you're going to get all kinds of crazy questions and crazy requests, but it's fun. It's enjoyable. I love my job. I love what I do every day. I love working with the people that I work with. They're amazing people and they're all very talented, really smart, and obviously, you know, some of them are doctors, uh, but they're all really great, and I'm really happy where I'm at. I'm really happy doing what I'm doing, and there's always room to improve, and that can be said always in IT because there is a very short turnaround time in IT for positions like what I'm in, any type of technician position, even system administration, administration positions, because you get 
you get in one place for three to five years typically and you're ready to advance you're ready to go on and make more money because you have a lot of knowledge that you can take with you so you learn a lot of great things and you move on frequently and that's part of being in IT as well that's why you always have to be on top of things you always have to be learning that's a huge thing so that's what I can tell you about day to day I really appreciate you taking the time to email me and I really hope that this video helps you uh, move further if you have any questions for me and that goes for anybody please feel free to leave a comment below hit me up in the email uh, hit me up on Facebook, facebook.com slash PC Simplest, of course. I'm on Twitter at PC Simplest. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you want me to do a video, let me know. I'm happy to answer anything that I possibly can for you. Thank you very much, and thank you for watching, as always. Have a great day.